epoxy primer over the epoxy lesin. This is the interesting one. I want to see what happens. I'm going to pull it off now and we see what happens. Hope I can. Gee whiz, man. Holy. Whoa, man. This doesn't come off. Oh, God. So here's my lead part. Put the bottom on. But what we're going to do is continue the adhesion test. So, like I said in the previous video, this has been epoxied and filleted on. Everything over here, this side wall, and then immediately I painted with my uh, epoxy primer for steel on top of the flesh epoxy while it was still wet. So now, it's two days already, and this stuff is there. It's totally there. So let's just go extreme, take a pair of scissors. I just want to see what happens, okay? I mean, I'm scratching the paint, but it doesn't seem to want to delaminate from the epoxy itself, okay? It looks like there's a real bond between the two. The two epoxies have bonded. The molecules interlocked, intertwined into whatever, then they're all there together and all best friends, okay? I like this bond. So now we're going to, now we're going to continue. And on that piece that uh, I was using, on my test piece, we're going to go big time. So uh, here it is. So this is, the, this is the test that I did the other day. And uh, so I cut it up and I was using duct tape and I was trying to delaminate the epoxy paint. Over here it is. This is the... This is the uh, this is the epoxy paint above the epoxy resin. And I was trying to delaminate the paint from the resin. That didn't happen. It just didn't happen, okay? Then I was trying to do it over here on this one, which is epoxy above paint. Okay, I did the two tests. First time I painted, then I epoxied, then I epoxied and painted. And the two of them, they don't budge. They, they, there's a bond. So now we're going to go big time, okay? So I'm going to glue on some uh, polyester cloth with epoxy onto this and I'm going to pull it off tomorrow and then we see what happens okay so before I glue on the because I want it to be a real fair test I took sandpaper 180 grit and I, I, la I lightly sanded this one and I lightly sanded this one here I was scratching the other day and trying to get it off with scratching. Nothing comes off. They either both come off, like they've come off over here and I've leached wood. Or they, they, they're there together forever. So now we're going to epoxy this material onto those two and tomorrow we're going to rip them off see what happens. I've got some flesh epoxy mixed up over here now. And I'm just going to... Looking through the camera, I hope I don't make a mess. Okay. Now let's just get it everywhere. I put some tape around so so it doesn't go all over the place. But uh, it's enough. Okay, I like that, I like that, totally wetted out. Okay, now, I'll do the other one the same way, and tomorrow live, we'll pull them both off and see what happens. Okay, it's the next day, this has been uh, epoxied on, this rag, 100% polyester, and then uh, same thing over here, let's pull this one off, this one is the epoxy primer, 
over the epoxy resin. This is the interesting one. I want to see what happens. I'm going to pull it off now and we see what happens. Hope I can. Gee whiz, man. Holy. Whoa, man. This doesn't come off. Oh, God. Okay, guys. I mean, this is not, uh, this is not good. This is perfect. This is way above my expectations. Not a piece of paint has come off this onto this cloth. Nothing. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is a real perfect, this is a real strong bond. This is a chemical bond that we have achieved between the epoxy resin that's been put onto the wood and the epoxy primer that's been put onto the resin while the resin was still wet. They have created a chemical bond, the, the, the molecules have bonded versus a mechanical bond which would be if I sanded the fiberglass and the next day I put primer on top, I put the paint on top, that's a mechanical bond. This is the little stuff, this is so strong, this is unbelievable, I'm very, 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 very happy with this. Let's go to the other guy and see what he does. So this is, um, this is epoxy resin over the epoxy primer paint. Okay, I'm going to give it a pull, going to do the best I can. Oh. Guys, same thing. It's the, <laughs> this is cloth. The material cloth left its places behind. It's, that's unbelievable. This is just amazing. So, we have, we have little good bonds on both ways. So, they, they chemically interlock one with the other. It doesn't matter if the primer comes above the epoxy or the epoxy comes above the primer. As long as they're still wet, they will bond. But please understand, this test is highly successful and it's worked very well for me with the materials that I have used. So go ahead, do it. You can eliminate the sanding of the fiberglass. Yeah, you can fill the weave. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gloss the boat now from the outside, above waterline, under waterline, everywhere, and I'm going to prime it while the epoxy is still wet. I'm going to prime it and I'm going to get this bond. This is a ridiculous bond. This is very, very strong. I mean, if, if, if nothing delaminated over here, this is a perfect bond. But uh, you must test the epoxy that you're using and the paint that you're using. You can't trust my test because I don't know what materials you're using. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm very happy. So that means I'm eliminating the sanding of the, of the, of the fiberglass bird before I prime it. I will epoxy it and prime it then sand the primer and then do top coat that's it guys so before I go guys uh, give us a like give us a subscribe please subscribe we're the slowest growing channel on YouTube because we're not monetized we haven't got ads running at the bottom we haven't got that you have to wait we haven't got that you have to click we haven't got all that stuff because we don't believe in making money off this stuff because we want to promote the stuff that we come up with. We build with popular ply because they say that you can't build with popular ply. I've built successful boats with popular ply. We fiberglass in freestyle because I don't know what they said. I'm not interested in what they said. We're going to develop methods over here that can change boat building. That's what we're about with the freestyle home of boat building. And uh, guys, Give us a subscription over here. Help us glow because we just uh, we got to glow. I mean, this channel is too small, and it's uh, I don't know what's going on over here. But YouTube doesn't like us very much because we told him we don't want your ads over here at the bottom, dirtying the bottom of the screen, guys. So uh, hang with us, stay with us. We'll go in the full nine yards. Take care, guys. Keep shanty. All the best. Balkan shipyards. The force is with you.